Hello everyone. Hello again. Welcome back to our channel. Jörg and I thought it would be nice to share some of the things we really loved yeah. last month. Yeah. And yeah, and also no, we're gonna do some cooking. Yeah, just like last month, we thought we would share an amazing recipe and hope you will recreate it and let us know what you think. Yeah, we like it. Oh, not only like, I think we really love yeah. it. No, it's a really good dish. Oh yes. And I want to share something that I've been passionate about for, oh, for many, many years. As some of you know, I've been reading interior books and interior English interior magazines for, I don't know, 25 years at least. And last month I discovered a video on their House and Garden YouTube channel and it's about Rita Koenig's farmhouse in Durham. Yeah, in the, which is really lovely. Yeah, it's uh, in the north of England and it's a Victorian farmhouse and Rita Koenig is, an, is a British interior designer and actually she's the daughter of the famous Nina Campbell. Yeah. And her house, we will link the video down below. This house is, I think it's just the style we absolutely yeah, love. It's very colourful, yes. very British. Yes. Yeah. It has a lot of classic English references, as Jörg said, yeah. lots of colour. And also it has, it's a bit mismatched. So yeah. It gives you the feeling that things have been have been there for a long time, and yeah, it's just it's very very pretty. Yeah. It, you can see, yeah, she's got a sense of style. Oh yeah, and just yeah. a good taste. Oh yes, and also her house. You can actually you can stay there for a holiday, and. Yeah, we will link the website as well, so you can have a look at, at pictures. They are very beautiful. Yeah, stunning. I would love to stay there with you, but unfortunately the house, it has seven or eight bedrooms, so... Yeah, we could sleep in a different room every night. <laughs> yeah, and also I figure it would be it would be quite expensive for two people. But check it out. Uh, we are sure you will love that yeah. as well. It's just... It's it's beautiful. It yeah. gives us so much inspiration. Yeah. And what we also wanted to share with you is we've discovered a series in, in you know, on, I think it's Channel 4? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's about the National Trust. Yes. And as you all know, we're obsessed with the National Trust. Uh, and we've visited a lot of their properties. For those of you who might not be familiar with the National Trust, it's a... It's a charity and a members organization that cares for historic country homes, buildings, houses, gardens, landscapes. Yeah. And whenever we visited the UK for a holiday, we went to National Trust yeah. properties. And once we moved here, the first thing we did was sign up. Yes, to become members. And it was one of the best decisions yeah. because it's not it's not that expensive and you can just some properties and the gardens are so big that you just return yeah. several times. Yes. So you save a lot of money. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And the series is called Is it George Clark's? Yes. George Clark's National Trust Un Locked. Unlocked. <laughs> Unlocked. Yes. And it's been filmed during lockdown yeah. when nobody was allowed into the properties. Mm -hmm. So he had the opportunity to wander around in the properties just with probably a property manager or one employee and to look into areas visitors normally don't see. Yes, true. Yeah. So and it's very amazing. And he can tell stories about the architecture because he's an architect. Yes. And... Um, he wanders around the gardens and he takes his dog with, with him and it's just, just wonderful to see. Yeah. And he, it's interesting to watch. 
Yes, he always ends the series like taking long walks with his beautiful husky Loki um, in the parklands and yeah. Um, yeah, just the landscapes and it gives us so many ideas because we always notice that there are so many properties yeah. we still have to visit. Yes. yes, and the good thing is, yeah, and he also, he visited smaller properties like yeah. I think the ones were the caves, where the houses were built into the caves. Yeah, isn't yeah. that in Shropshire? Yeah, yes, which it's... we never knew and never heard about. No, so it's not too far for us yeah. and we should, we should go. Yeah, if you are able to watch, watch it, do it, because it's really, really, really nice. It is, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah we will link it for you down below. And I'm not sure, maybe it's even available on YouTube or parts of it. So, yes, probably, yes. Yeah, so it's really nice. No, it's, um, yeah, and it's... Gives you plenty of ideas. Yes, I no, I, yeah, ideas were of places to visit. And you get um, a feeling of, yeah, how big the National Trust is. Oh, now, yeah. the next thing is something I discovered last year, and it's Claire Haggard. And Claire Haggis is she's a she's an artist and very passionate about British wildlife, particularly birds. And at one point she thought why not make or show her work on beautiful silk scarves. And I bought my first silk scarf last year and I just got another one which is a little bit bigger and it has a pheasant on it and it's beautiful. It's really nice. It is made in England so considering that they are not that expensive. It's pure silk and they come in a beautiful packaging as well and yeah Jörg and I also we just saw that they have a gentleman's collection as well and thinking of Christmas, which isn't too far away, we think yeah. if you if you look for if you're looking for ideas, yeah. this would be beautiful. Yeah, could be a good idea. Get a scarf with a tweed jacket. Yeah, that looks amazing I would love together. It. Yeah, you know what? We forgot. Like when I ordered the first scarf, a little like um, I think you call them pocket squares or something. Um, we have one upstairs, it has a, a pheasant on it as well, and that would go with your tweed jacket. Hmm. I think you just forgot about it. Yeah, I totally forgot about it. And when you order a scarf, um, which has a certain amount, this just comes for free. And yeah, we'll, we'll link the website down, down below and we really love it. It's great quality and just beautiful and I don't know, can you help me? And it's yeah, timeless design. Yeah, it's yeah. timeless and it's just, it's beautiful, it's, it's amazing yeah. and just, we love these motives. Yeah, one bit you need to get a country style. Yes, oh yeah, that's true, good that you mention it because this is like, yeah, part of the classic English country style, yeah. true. And yeah, they have the same designs for men as well and um, yeah I think I have an idea for Christmas yeah work. so okay if you if I get a tweed jacket yeah you've got one yes no I need it yeah a smaller one a smaller one yeah a small tweed jacket not a no you know what what I just what came to my mind um like when we went to Northumberland uh, I think it was March and when we visited um Scotland yeah and uh, we bought this beautiful bag and the lady said you can have a tweed jacket and we said we will do that one day um, it's it won't be possible at the end of this year yeah because it has to be tailor-made yeah it has to be tailor-made and due to the pandemic you just you don't know no. what travel will be like and uh, yeah maybe next year yeah see yeah so now we will show you the recipe and we hope you will enjoy that as well.
and we thought we would share it as early as possible because now that it's in October and you're going to watch this, um, you will get this now yeah. in October. It's pumpkin season in the UK. <laughs> yes. Now it's time for a very nice recipe which is just perfect for autumn and it involves a pumpkin. It's called, I believe, roasted pumpkin with stuffing. And Jörg and I, we made it last year. And honestly, it was one of the best dishes we ever had. And I hope it will be as amazing as last year. And yeah, let's just prepare it together. And we'll show you what you need and how it's done. And this is the original recipe shared by Jo Rogers, who's a writer for Vogue. We also follow her on Instagram. She takes wonderful photos based here in the UK. And we will put the recipe down below in the info box for you to check out, of course. Now, the most important thing for this recipe is, of course, the pumpkin. And this is a small pumpkin. Good for two people, yeah. I think. It will do. Yeah. And then you need chives and basically any herb you like we've got rosemary then we've got dried majorum dried thyme you need nutmeg then very important you need chestnuts and cheese we've got korea so you can either take Korea or Comte, not sure about the pronunciation. You need heavy cream and you need bread. And we bought this bread, the gluten-free multi-seed bread. We forgot something very important. And you also need kale or yeah, like what's the name? Camolo Nero? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Very exotic. Greens. But when we, we uh, used kale last year, and that was amazing. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the background into the oven. Yeah. For, for a few minutes, so yeah. because the recipe says the bread should be crunchy. Yeah. And while the bread is in the oven, Yogi is going to prepare the pumpkin and you have to cut out the top and then remove the seeds and the strings from the inside of the pumpkin, which is a bit of work. Once it's empty, salt and pepper the inside. The chestnuts, the herbs and the cheese need to be chopped. Mm. I think they make that extra special. We always, I mean, we will link the recipe down below and you can just, you can adjust how much you actually need depending on the size of your pumpkin. Did you try one? Yeah, you, know, you should. Mmm. Lovely, isn't it? Mmm. -hmm. And now the herbs. The preparation of the recipe actually is, it doesn't take very long, it just takes a bit in the oven, about 90 minutes. Now everything will be mixed together in a bowl and we always get so many questions about this bowl, which is, I'm not entirely sure about the pronunciation, I think it's Mason Cash. And this one has hearts. We will link some of the products down below for you in the description box. I'm not entirely sure if the one with the hearts is still available, but they have amazing designs and yeah, we really love them. 
Mmm, Gruyere. I love Gruyere cheese. <laughs> mm. So good. Mm. Really good. Tasty. Yeah. Now add the bread. Oh, it's, it's nice now. It's like toast. Put the nutmeg into the cream and well obviously it would be a lot better to take fresh nutmeg and then mix it okay let me get the kale for you yuck there you go thank you my darling And as you can see, nice dress here, slippers here. <laughs> and now we're going to stuff the pumpkin. Yeah, which is the best part of the recipe. Oh yes, it definitely is. And it goes into the oven for about 90 minutes, maybe hours, a, li a little less, because the pumpkin isn't that big. Yeah, we'll have to check. We have to check in between. And yeah, really looking forward to, yeah. to this amazing dinner. I'm already hungry. Yeah, we haven't eaten anything, like just a tiny breakfast. So, because this is quite, it is heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is delicious. It is so worth it. I see, we probably have too much stuffing. I think so. Well, there's not that much left. So. This will be a feast. And because we don't want to waste anything, we just took a small bowl and put it in the oven as well. And... Oh! Ah, I was about to stop filming. Yeah, good Some idea. Some extra decoration. <laughs> That's a good idea. Gives an extra taste. Yes, it does. That goes in here as well, next to the pumpkin. And now, into the oven. Jörg just opened himself a bottle of wine, and you're having this one for the first time, don't yeah. you? Well, I hope it's good. Yeah, very strong. Oh God, really? I mean, I wouldn't know anyway, but for you? No. You think it goes nicely with a pumpkin? Yes, yes. Maybe a little bit too cold. The pumpkin should be done now. And during the last 10 minutes, you have to remove the top. Oh, it looks great. It looks delicious. It does. So, just to give you the whole look. Ah, oh, and it smells delicious as well. Uh -huh. Now, let's give it a try.
Hmm. Amazing. You can taste the herbs. Yeah. Oh. Well, we really hope you like this video, especially the, the pumpkin recipe, yeah. because it's so good, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it is. Yeah. But don't forget, it takes some time to get the pumpkin soft. Yes, it really does, but it's so good. And um, should you decide to recook it, do let us know what you think. And it's just, if you take a small pumpkin, it's great for two people, but yeah. it's also, it's a perfect recipes should you have guests yeah. yes and yeah yeah because i believe the combination of the herbs and the cheese is just perfection <laughs> no, it's really good yeah it really is so yeah stay tuned for the next video and take care guys we'll yeah. see you soon stay safe yes stay safe yeah. take care and bye 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 bye